Great day, tell us about it. Uh, yeah, unbelievable day for us. Um, th that's just perfect conditions. Any windier and it, it gets a bit crazy and uh, a bit dangerous, I think, but we're right on the limit and uh, yeah, we had a, a bit of an up and down day. We made it hard for ourselves in those first two races and it's touch and go whether we're going to make the final race, but um, yeah, I, I just said before, but I'm just so proud of my team. I just know when our backs are against the wall, or when there's high pressure, when we need to nail a manoeuvre to get back in the race, I know that they're going to have my back and they're going to perform. And it's a great feeling as a as a skipper and a leader of a team that you know that your guys are they've got my back and they I know that they can perform under pressure every time. And also when you're at the back, you kind of think differently. I noticed you were taking the eastern shore a lot. Was that looking better for you? Mm. Huge um, respect to Kinley Fowler. Really noticed a bit of a trend in the in the wind out there, and he noticed that people were making gains on the eastern shore and then. And then uh, basically you tried to get a right hand turn around the top mark and uh, we made huge gains all day by that and that was Kinley Fowler spotting that. And uh, yeah, but it was a huge, unbelievable team effort. Um, Nina at the back calling uh, if we're clear for an overlap right on the mark in that final race. Jason Waterhouse heard we were close and pushed the ride height a bit high to try to get around Team USA. There's so many little instances around that track that made the difference and uh, got us a win. On the ride height, Jason was talking about that when there's a bit of chop. That's a really tricky job, that. How do you do that? It is. It's really tough to judge. I mean, our ride height is about one metre, is what we aim to be. And then if you go to a metre 20, you're probably going to fall out of the sky and crash. And when the waves are about one metre in height, it uh, makes it really tough on him. He's got such a fine line to work with. And uh, But I actually don't know how he does it, if I'm honest. Uh, he's the best in the business at uh, Fly Controller.